Welcome back. Now, South Africa's creative industry is still in its infancy, making it important for creative entrepreneurs to be given the space and the tools to develop their ventures. This week on Your Money on Market Sense, our reporter Diabo Seto, working with cameraman Aaron Munaisi, uh, spend time with two art entrepreneurs to find out how they are breaking barriers and determining their paths and success in the industry. My name is Diabo Seto with Your Money on Market Sense. It is said that while not all entrepreneurs are artists, but all artists are entrepreneurs. Owners of Reach Up Products and Luti Creatives found their creative calling through art and they share their entrepreneurial journey with us. Toby Lenduli is a Johannesburg-based art entrepreneur. She started Luti Creatives painting sneakers and clothes. Nduli draws inspiration from Mam Esther Matlangu, who is internationally acclaimed for her bold, large-scale contemporary paintings referencing her Ndebele heritage. Although her sneaker business is still small, Nduli says it has been a fulfilling and rewarding journey. With her prices starting at 450 rands, she's hoping to deliver great value for money. So far, so good. I'm not complaining, uh, except when my clients give me dirty sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but other than that, I'm I'm, I'm really not c complaining. Um, yeah, it's 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 been great because I'm just a startup, so I'm not in a rush. I'm taking it one step at a time. High startup costs are top of the list for entrepreneurs. The inability to find a steady job pushed her towards her creative abilities. With her savings, the battle was now between sending money back to her family in KwaZulu Natal or buying the first sneaker paint it and throw her fate to the universe. I'm tired of waiting for jobs. Um, um, I need to do something that is different, that is not going to uh, make me beg people. People must come to me and say, this is what I want, this is what I want. So I want the job that is going to flow. Okay, fine. And then a uh, few, weeks, few weeks down the line after that, um, that talk, and then I saw Gok Esther Matlango that she was painting BMW and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, fine. So now this old woman compared to me, I'm still young compared to her. She's traveling the world. I haven't been outside South Africa my whole life. I need, I need something that people will crave. Ntuli says she feels government is not adequately supporting the creative industry. She says they don't often know which doors to knock on to get help. People want to support the ones that they know or the ones that they feel, okay, when they look at you, they feel you worth it. If they look at you and then they don't see that or maybe they don't feel like maybe you kind of related to them or you know someone who knows someone who knows them, I kind of feel that is like that. <laughs> Further north of Johannesburg in Parkview, Zimbabwean-born Richard Kupeta sells his art pieces on the side of the road. He's collaborated with artist Robin Woolley to help prop up his business. Art, uh, it means a lot to me because uh, I had to express my feelings through art. I had to entertain people through art. So all of those I can just do it in the, on top of all I'm just earning a living from it. Kupeta says he has been selling his paintings on the street corner for 11 years. He finds that this type of marketing works for him. His artwork is bought by both local and international art enthusiasts. When it's good, uh, it means I can even sell something like 10 pieces. That would be good for me. But when it's bad, it's uh, even less than five pieces per month. Like Nduli, Kupeta encourages creatives to collaborate with other artists in order to maximize their businesses and visibility. But with the economy in a slump, Kupeta cautions that sales could be hard to come by. Uh, nowadays it's difficult because me, even here, I can even spend something like two weeks without selling, mm. of which it would be hard. Yeah. But me, as uh, strong as I am in that industry, yeah. I'm just uh, trying my best to keep on surviving. And uh, with uh, this edition of uh, collaboration with uh, Robin Woolley, yeah. It makes uh, people sing a variety of different things. So if they uh, won't buy my stuff, they can even buy Robin's stuff, of which uh, it will help me, it will help Robin. Please do share your views with us about art entrepreneurship and this feature as well. My email address is sitole at sabc.co.za. We'd love to hear from you.